Welcome to the Fields of Code tutorial series and to this tutorial, Chart Management of X-rays and Interaural Images, Part 1. We begin by opening our patient document and going to the Chart tab. The chart provides us with a visual reference of this patient's teeth, including such things as fillings, crowns, extractions, bleeding, etc. and what we will be examining in this tutorial, which is x-rays and interaural images, identified by this x-ray icon here. To add an x-ray or other image to a tooth, we choose the tooth and from the top toolbar choose Manage X-rays for Selected Tooth. From the Film Strip toolbar We'll choose Add an X-ray or Interaural Image, and we'll choose the image file from our local or network drive, and open it. At this dialog window, you can mark the relevant teeth or tooth to which you would like to link the X-ray. As we see here highlighted in red is number 29, which is the tooth we began with, and we'd also like to link it to 30 and 31 as well. If this was a panoramic view, we could select all teeth here, or if it was a section of the mouth, we could choose 1 to 16 or 17 to 32. If the date is wrong, and we know that the image was captured on a different date, we can use the drop-down box here and edit the date. We can also add any notes that we'd like. And if the image that we see in the window here is incorrect, we could go back to our hard drive and choose another image. When you're done with this dialog, select OK. And the image is now imported directly into the Fields of Code database. And the imported image is seen on the film strip here. If the image was scanned incorrectly, as we see this one was, we could also rotate the image into its proper orientation. So now that we have imported this x-ray, we'll close this window. And looking at the patient chart, we can see that an x-ray icon has been added to the chart on teeth 29 to 31. This x-ray icon will only show up for tooth-specific images and not for panoramic images, as of course the icon would then be ambiguously displayed on every tooth. Again at the top toolbar, if we look at Manage All X-rays and Images in this patient file, we now see on the film strip all of the X-rays or interaural images for this particular patient. The images linked to individual teeth are found on the left, while the panoramic images are displayed on the right. If you hover your cursor over an image, you will see displayed the properties of that image, such as the creation date, what tooth it's connected to, any notes, and if there are any annotations. Annotations are covered in Part 2 of the Chart Management of X-rays tutorial. The images are also displayed in chronological order with the newest images on the top and the oldest images on the bottom. There are two ways to remove old or irrelevant images. We can go to Manage All X-rays and then choose the image we would like to delete, such as this one. Note that this x-ray is connected to teeth 29 to 31. From the top menu, we choose Delete an x-ray or intraoral image, and we see from this view, which is View All X-rays or Intraoral Images, we are only given the option to delete this x-ray from all connected teeth. It is important to note that deleting the image here will delete the image file completely from the Fields of Code database. The only way to recover an image deleted this way would be if you still had a copy of the image on your hard drive. So we're going to cancel this 
So we'll choose tooth number 29, which is the one we wanted to unlink the x-ray from. And this time we'll choose to manage the intraoral images for a selected tooth. Now we see that on the left hand side only one x-ray shows. We'll choose this x-ray and then choose delete an x-ray or intraoral image from the toolbar at top. In this mode when we choose to delete an image we are given the choice of the current tooth only or all connected teeth. If we look at the top of our window up here we see that we are on tooth number 29 and that is the tooth that we wanted to unlink our x-ray from. So we'll choose the current tooth only and now the x-ray has been deleted from this tooth. If we close the dialog box we see that the x-ray is still linked to tooth 30 and 31. So although that x-ray still exists in our database because it is linked to 30 and 31, it no longer shows up on tooth number 29. However, if we wanted to remove this x-ray entirely from the fields of code database, we would choose manage all x-rays in this patient's file. Choose the x-ray image which we see here is connected to teeth 30 and 31. Delete the x-ray from the top toolbar. And now remember in this view we are only allowed to delete it from all connected teeth. And doing this will delete the image completely from the database. You can continue on with this tutorial by going to Chart Management of X-rays and Intraoral Images Part 2.